So speaking of your first book, uh, turning your ordinary business into a successful empire, uh, what yeah. was your what was your motivation behind writing that? And then also let the people know where they can uh, get a copy. Yeah, man. So my motivation to write that book, man, was really I was doing consulting for small businesses. And I'm talking to these companies on how to build their business, mm -hmm. how to take their business to the next level. Whatever you were doing, I was scaling it up. But I, I re I've learned that the things that I was teaching them were small things that tweaks that they could have made within their company to really do it on their own. So I put it all in the book, <laughs> put it all in the book. Um, and then, you know, next thing you know, school start studying from it, like Lincoln University and maybe University. And, you know, they're studying for it in the marketing department, which obviously boosts the sales. Uh, but that was the motivation behind it. Um, you can purchase the book on Amazon right now, Barnes and Nobles, um, or my website, HowardHughesConsults.com. And uh, yeah, that's awesome, man. How, how does like how does a university get in contact with you and say, "We want to use your book in the curriculum"? Like how how does that work? You know what, man? It really was foot to door. So I actually went out and knocked on those doors. Okay, had okay. those relationships, had those conversations. So it was nothing that just came. I actually went to. Lincoln University, the dean of students, Dr. Burgess, and said, hey, listen, what will it take for, read this book, tell me your thoughts. One, and I also learned that, you know, when I was in college, a lot of my, I'm, do, I'm running businesses in college. Mm -hmm. And my professors have never ran a business okay. in business school. So yeah. I'm saying, hey, hey, listen, you know, these guys can talk about it. You have to read in front of books. Yes, they're preaching and teaching from the book. But I'm an experienced, successful entrepreneur. Let me bring my book back. These are the st this is what they need to learn. This is a true business plan. Right. When you do business plans for the business department when you're in school, this is what a real business plan looks like. It should be an actual blueprint instead of just a generic breakdown of marketing and how you're going to use your strengths yeah, and yeah. weaknesses, et cetera, et cetera. Let me show you from my experience what a business plan looks like and what the process, what major things you need to know in order to scale a business and be an entrepreneur. Got you. 